Hey, what's up, YouTube? Yes, my first uh, time making a YouTube video. And how uh, this goes, you know, I came out from school, I sat down and just thought, hmm, you know, I've never seen a video talking about what I like Cambodian studies because I'm not sure how many people want to know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's say, so let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm Cambodian. My name's just call me Bod. I'm 16 year old. Um, I study grade 11 in Cambodia. And fun fact, we don't speak Cambodian. We speak Khmer. Our language is called Khmer. So let's get to it. So, um, in the Cambodian education system, you know we have kindergarten, primary, and secondary. Uh, you have your middle school and high school. Middle school is from grade seven to grade nine. And at grade 9, you finish your diploma. And then from grade 9 to grade 12, at grade 12, you finish your baccalaureate or baccalaureate, the second. Because we, we kind of got the French education system since French colonized us for like 90 years. Since, yeah, uh, 1863 to 1953. So we have a lot of subjects I did not count before I make this video. So let's see. So we have our Khmer literature. Yes, Khmer. We have our freaking chemistry. That's one book. Chemistry. We have biology. That's there. We have economics. That's right there. We have earth science. Physics. Geography. History. Normal maths higher level maths, and sociology. Now, there's an exception here. Um, I study in a private school. Therefore, every book I just showed you, we study all of it. However, if you study in a Khmer public school, at least in the public schools I know, they will not teach you economics. Now, here's the stupid part. You cannot choose what you want to study. You have to study everything. And the most stupid part is in your baccalaureate exam, your, your uh, end of high school exam, there's only seven subjects. And one of the subjects you don't even get to study. Those seven subjects are, you have your Khmer literature, your mathematics, physics, biology, chemistry, um, a history, and English. And they don't, there's not even an English book. You just have to learn it via, I don't know, ACE or something. Uh, I study in private school, so that's a different story for me. I study two curriculums at once. So I got my Cambridge curriculum and this Khmer curriculum as well. That's quite weird. And uh, I want I want to show you uh, something. So in our mathematics book, uh, the one of the final chapters we have, you know, stats and normal distribution and all that. The thing is. They don't teach you stats. You see, in these books, they don't teach you everything in the book. Some parts are just are left it out, like the stats I show you. You don't study stats until you reach university, which is actually, which is kind of a bad thing. Because when high school students go to university, they teach statistics on uh, in uh, the first year, and us Khmer students have no clue about stats. I mean, the only thing we know is mean, median, mode, and some cumulative frequency. But other than that, we don't know crap. But the thing is, it's in the book. And since I've studied two curriculums, I can I can really compare to the the AS level statistics and stuff. And I can say they're about similar. I mean, there's more there's more uh, problems in the uh, AS. They give you more problems. Uh, they give you less problems here. Um, yeah, and for the uh, for mathematics. For the pure math side, you know, uh, the Khmer math, it's not as wide as the Cambridge IGCSE or AS level math. Um, but the topics that they do focus on, it goes much deeper. So like stuff that you would see in a grade 11 Khmer textbook uh, of the same topic, you would see it in probably AS or probably even A. Because they're just as deep. It's just not as, as big open because as, as you can see it's not that thick if you compare to other English mathematics books. Yeah. 
Uh, that's about all I gotta say. So if you have any questions at all regarding the Cambodian education system or anything related to Cambodia, uh, please comment. I'll be sure to answer them if I have time. Thanks for watching. Now well, I hope there's a next video for you to watch. See?